So I'll go to the studio to do some post-pandemic uh, maintenance. And I thought I'll take you with me to, you know, catch up, find out how you're doing, how I'm doing, share some updates. Sooner or later, we're all gonna get back to work. And during the pandemic, I didn't have a chance to maintain my guys' machines at all because they were constantly working on them. So today, I got a lucky chance to do that. During the pandemic, I was working from home as well as my whole team. We were all social distancing, doing everything properly, not going to work at all. This is my temporary setup. You've probably seen it in some of my previous uh, videos. Just today I had a comment from one nice guy on Instagram and he was asking about GPUs. Really common questions, but I thought I haven't talked about tech or anything really apart from CG itself for so long. And maybe it's time to catch up. I also realized that I never ever talked about cameras on this channel. Like I talked about lenses and all that stuff but never really talked about cameras. And I switched to Blackmagic uh, Pocket Cinema 6K. And there is, of course, a specific reason why I did so, because the camera itself is really inconvenient. Should I maybe talk about that in one of the videos? <laughs> During this pandemic, I totally became a wild caveman. So it's nice to get out once in a while to do some stuff. I have actually been to studio a couple of times to do the maintenance of other units, render units, but haven't met anyone really in, in three months. It's crazy. So I think now it's nice to maybe get back to vlogs. One of the reasons I actually haven't been vlogging is because I switched to that Blackmagic camera and for vlogging it's terrible. To focus on your face I had to use my old trick of putting the camera on your knee focusing on your feet and then the focus should be on your face when you hold it like that uh, but that's the camera itself is really heavy i don't really like it for vlogging and it's really a production cinema camera for controlled environments as black magic is so inconvenient i have to use my a7r2 which is five years old and i'm to be honest, I'm not that satisfied with the footage coming from it because it's 8-bit, all that stuff. And I'm really looking forward what are they about to announce in June, according to rumors. If it's nothing significant, then I swear I'll switch to Canon. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Love this place in the sunset. A lot of uh, questions people ask lately. The MacBook. This is what I do usually now. Come here, open up MacBook. Plug this ultra wide LG in and same as BenQ, it charges the laptop and shows the image here, which is super convenient. I'm a long time Mac user and I really like that OS itself. Just don't like do any work on it. But for personal use, it's beautiful. Look how well it works with this monitor. It is one wire though. <laughs> Go away. I don't do any work on this laptop at all. I just use it to connect. This is one of my main workstations. It's supposed to be a GPU water-cooled setup and two CPUs, but at the moment it's only five GPUs. Oh, look at that. Some problems in deadline. Well, that's why I'm here and I'm about to fix that. Anyways, the build from Rich at Render Boxes. There will be a dedicated video about that, but because of the pandemic, everything, everything is dramatically delayed, including the video about that build. We will be talking about uh, the crucial elements in your workstations and why are they so crucial. So elements and components you need to pay attention to before you uh, consider your own build. There's one of the machines I need to fully wipe out. Solid beast, but sometimes because of software it can become sluggish. Let's do this.
You know what? Let's make a coffee meanwhile. How you been, guys? How did pandemic affect you? It did affect us in some way, but not much. We never have stopped working, really. Uh, all the projects were still running. Everything were running remotely. And now things are getting back to normal. We are planning to slowly start bringing the team back in, in, in the office. Oh, blimey, that's, that's loud. Anyways, on Sunday, I supposed to record um, results of the spring CG challenge. And in the announcement video, I said that I'll be learning something new myself. And I do want to learn character design, but May was actually quite hectic for me and I was stuck with work. So I didn't learn anything, but at least uh, I hope we will get to see a lot of cool works. <laughs> relatively quick it's dark already also i wanted to talk about this because i have a lot of requests for freelance but i need to clarify that i'm not freelancing i'm a co-owner of a production house in winchester in the uk called out of nothing the reason there is no out of nothing logo in here is because out of nothing is a part of a big team there is a cg team and there is a branding team of the canopy and initially we all started as one team without any defined direction and then we opened out of nothing but this was set up before that so we're still here until we find a new place to expand and C branding is still here and we're not moving it anywhere. So I realized I never mentioned this in my vlogs and there's that weird unrelated C in here. <laughs> now you know. Okay, I'll just grab a couple of things and uh, ready to go home. I also like to wipe dust from time to time from the desks, especially when they are abandoned. Everything becomes really messy and dusty. So what you think, guys? I know this vlog was pretty useless, nothing exciting, but you know, restrictions are not completely lifted yet. So there's not much to vlog about, no shoots, nothing like that. I actually encourage you, especially those of you who recently joined, watch my old vlogs. People are saying there's a cool atmosphere in there, and I kind of agree. I missed that time when I was vlogging. What do you say? Shall I get back to that vlogging stuff? You know, I was really keen to get a better vlogging camera. If I would be able to find something in between this 7R2 and Blackmagic pocket camera, I would be happy. Just because I'm not a big fan of grading 8-bit footage, and especially if you underexposed or overexposed, it's kind of unforgiving. And these shots are unrecoverable. Whereas Blackmagic, 6K especially, allows so much flexibility in reframing and then maybe grading your footage, especially highlights and shadows. Dynamic range in raw file is hilarious. That's why I love that camera so much. If you overexpose with this camera, the shot will be ruined. Okay, I'm done here. Bye bye abandoned place. Hope to see you soon. Good thing about maintenance is that machines are now running at their max potential. Whereas if you don't do that over time, machine can become sluggish. And if the machine is sluggish, I mean, it's not a pleasure to work with at all. Let me know guys if you think the vlogs is something missing from this channel, apart from educational content. The, the thing is, I really struggle to keep up with uploads because the topics I want to discuss, they are really exhausting, takes a lot of time to produce and uh, I'm ending up not producing them at all, which is kind of stupid. And then I realized that maybe there are topics like really basic topics that I know a lot of stuff about, but some people don't. Maybe I should cover basic stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a good night. I will see you soon. Peace. Yeah.